Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Firewood Doctor. Uh, just some uh, random thoughts while I'm sitting here in the truck, waiting to get going on doing something else today. Uh, a year ago, I couldn't run a full tank of gas in the saw on my Echo 5.9. You know, today I could, uh, but for to reduce the strain on my back, I was running a 550 XP. Uh, for those of you oh what the heck my armrest came down okay hold on there we go now I can prop, prop my arm up proper <laughs> uh, it's an old truck what do you expect but uh, I bought that 550 XP thing back in May um, in an effort to be able to cut more wood in a day by reducing uh, the work stress and strain on my back from running a saw it was a good day if I could run a full tank in the five nine echo CS 590 uh, as soon as I got that 550 XP I ran two tanks of fuel through that saw in a day that was immediately that was like the first day I got it it was like first time I put it to the wood so yeah that that was uh, quite an accomplishment for me and if you're having uh back issues or troubles or anything uh, getting wood cut go to a, the lightest saw that can get the job done effectively uh, this 550 is the smallest saw I'd want to use in the kind of wood I was cut on in the last video, that basswood I, I, I just won't go to a smaller saw unless I have the logs up in a saw buck up in the air where I could eat where the saws seem to cut more effectively when you are when you have the log up by the power head. If you're cutting with the tip, it seems to take more power. It, it, it's got to be something to do with the leverage of the weight of the saw and how it how the weight helps uh, leverage it through the log uh, and stuff. Now, um, I run a uh, start with the, uh, well, before winter or when I wasn't recovering from injury, I could now... I was running a tank of gas through the 572 XP first, that heaviest saw, also the most powerful. So <laughs> uh, then I would run a tank through the 590. Uh, that's because of you know lower weight. You know you go to the lighter saws as the day goes on. So you, you're carrying around less weight, the more fatigued you get. So. Uh, last fall, I did about two and a quarter, uh, two and a quarter, two and a half tanks of gas, and the saws full tank at the 572 XP, the Echo, the 590, and then oh maybe a quarter to quarter to half a tank in the uh, 550 XP. And I had to quit because I was getting mentally and more mentally fatigued than any than physically fatigued. Physically, I could have handled it. Uh, mentally, I, I just was making too many mistakes. Uh, as far as the uh, updated safety stuff, yeah, I forgot the helmet uh, for the last video, which kind of sucked because I got a little dust in the eye. Uh, not too bad. At least it wasn't a wood chip. That'll teach me. Uh, the safety chaps. I love the safety chaps. It, it, I feel so much safer. Uh, I'm still taking, you know, watching what the what the heck I'm doing. I mean, no matter what safety gear you have on, you still got to watch what the heck you're doing. You know, be just as careful as if you were, as if you didn't have any safety gear on. Be just as careful with the safety gear on as you were without. And when the slip up, rear slip up does happen, you you should be okay. The, the safety equipment should protect you unless you know it comes, unless it comes at a weird ang angle. Uh, I don't have the uh, calf wrap chaps, which. Would be nice for the way I'm cutting. Uh, I'll probably get a pair of those for the winter. I have a pair of those, but they're way too long. They're like for someone that's like six foot four, you know. So I gotta find someone to give those chaps to something that's someone that's like six four. Because I thought they were sized by uh, waist size, but no, they're sized by inseam. So mm, yeah, if I wore those chaps, they'd be covering the toes of my boots, <laughs> and the calf wrap would be going under the boot. So, yeah, definitely, uh, even the basic, uh, who's part of safety chaps is, is a great thing. Good feeling. I uh, got the strap extension. Uh, you may have seen the, uh, cu uh, posting on the community side of 
YouTube where you could put post where YouTubers could post pictures and stuff, you know, just like on Facebook, but a little different. So, yeah, got those going. Uh, they're, I got to tighten up the leg straps a little bit uh, so they're more secure and not flopping around. Uh, I, think I got to sharpen that 550. Got to touch it up again. Uh, it just wasn't cutting through some of those last pieces very well. But it was still throwing chips, but not as good as it should have. So, yeah, I touched it up before I used it. I'll have to touch it up again. I wouldn't run it again like some people would just keep cutting, you know. It's like, geez, this thing ain't cutting. You know, I learned that a long time ago. Um, if it starts not feeling right, uh, shut it down, especially if it's cutting really slow. Don't don't force it. But it was still throwing chips and cutting good some of the time, kind of slow part of the time off and on, so I must have been hitting a different species mixed in that basswood. Uh, maple, will, that basswood cuts like a hot knife through air. <laughs> you know, that 572XP is just scary fast. So, yeah, I like running the, the 550 in, in that basswood. I'll try the Echo uh, next week in the, in the basswood. But Saturday it looks like to be crappy. Uh, Friday and Saturday it looks like freezing rain. So I may not get much for videos done. So maybe I'll do a, a random thoughts video on stuff. Because, you know, I'm try, trying to keep up with three videos a week. It's been a little tough when injured, so you know, I took that one week off. I did a little bit here, a little there. Uh, some of the, some videos I'll I could normally have into one, like you know stuff that's been done in the wood yard for the day. Uh, I just turned it into two because it helped keep that uh, three videos a week going. So yeah, uh, I got nothing else other than. Uh, other than that, so till next time, folks, take care, get out there, do something, have fun doing it. Doctor's orders.